So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Are you new here? Hello, welcome. My name is Luna Rose because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, today we are going to be going through the story time of the worst first day I've ever had. And my outfit of being a full-on nurse is very fitting since we ended up spending seven hours in A&E. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so let's get into this rather strange and traumatic story time, shall we? But first, we need a quick little backstory and I need to paint the picture, set the scene for it all to make sense. So this happened during my second year of university. If you guys don't know, I went to the University of Lincoln to study animal behaviour and welfare. And this happened just after my birthday. I think I just turned 20 and... Pretty much before April started, since I turned 20 on April 23rd, it was just before April started, I got out of a really bad relationship where I found out the guy cheated on me, I was all like sad and depressed and it was honestly just like not that great of a time. I went on a couple of dates with a few other people and turns out they were married and had kids and just, there was a lot of scenarios that weren't going great leading into this scenario, but pretty much it was running up to my birthday and I was like, come on, you need to get out of this funk, you need to get back into the dating scene, you need to forget about the people that like fucked you over prior and just have fun and just like enjoy the run up to your birthday, get to know some new friends and like have some more like queer friends like that I knew while I was at university. So pretty much I re-downloaded Grindr which mistake number one, Grindr is not the place to find someone to date properly, it always seems to end badly and poorly but pretty much I re-downloaded Grindr and there was a really cute guy that messaged me who lived like 20 miles away from university, which for me was like a really good thing since pretty much every gay person that I knew at university had all either slept together or like dated each other or like there was some kind of nudes on other people's phones of every single person in like Lincoln. So I was like, cool, he's like 20 miles like away. He's kind of out the scene. He doesn't really like know the people that I know. And so there's not that scary like cross contamination, although that did end up being the case. And I can tell you the story time in the future when I found out this guy was sleeping with like my best friend, but pretty much, um, there was a really cute guy and he was like, oh, do you want me to like come over? We can sit and play video games. We had a lot of like similar interests. So I was like, okay, it's not a date though. It's not a date. We're just going to be friends. Nothing like major is going to happen. We're just friends. So he traveled on train to meet me in Lincoln and we're just going to have a cute little like games night, just like a friendly get to know each other, meet a new friend, that kind of scenario. And when I tell you the first time I saw him, my heart skipped a beat and I was just like, he's the one, he's the one I'm gonna be with. Like, this is gonna, this is gonna be the scenario. Like, I have a crush on him, like love at first sight kind of style. So anyway, we go back to my place, we chat, we're really good, like playing games, everything seems to go perfectly fine, but it's not a date. This is just the lead up to how the first, like worst date ever occurred. So me and him, we seem to get on really well. We connected really well. Everything seemed really good and dandy, happy go lucky, perfect. So anyway, we have this like little mini games night and then he goes home. There wasn't like any flirting. There wasn't any like kissing, anything like that. I just hugged him. He went off on the train perfectly fine. So this happened just before my birthday, this like little meet up scenario. And then my birthday happened. We was chatting back and forth and who was going to come down and see me. But I was like, I just want to spend time with my friends. I don't really know you. So it would be kind of awkward to bring you into a scenario with like all my best friends at university and they don't know you, like it's just better not to. But I said, I'll meet him afterwards and we can go on like a proper date. So this all then happened on April 26th. I turned 20 on April 23rd. So it was like three days after my birthday. He was like, oh, come down and see me. I've got you some birthday presents and we'll have a proper first official date. So I was like, oh, that's so cute. Like, yeah, go on then. I really enjoyed our little mini meet up. I, I would love to go and see like your place since you know you came to mine prior. So anyway I get on the train, go meet him, perfectly fine. This is where um things start to go a little downhill though. So anyway I go and meet him and we're like chatting, we're back at his place and he's like oh didn't I tell you I've got judo at half seven, you're coming with me. And I was like well, that's a shit first date where well, I was supposed to like go and meet you. We was going to like hang out. You was going to give me my birthday gifts and stuff. But now you've got judo. So anyway, I'm like, you know what? 
let, let's go. I've never been to a judo class. I've never been to a judo lesson. By the way, this guy was like black belt, like really into judo, teaching it, all that kind of stuff. So I was like, okay, well, this is what you want to do. I wouldn't classify it as a good first date already, but you saw some of my life. Let me go and see some of yours. Plus he did just give me like a bunch of birthday presents. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll go to judo with you. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I said I wasn't participating since I was in like skinny jeans and like makeup and I wore heels. So I was like, I, you know, I'm not participating. So anyway, it was kind of like our first date and he was going to judo. I was going along with him and it was going to be for like, I think it was like an hour and a half and it started at like half seven, finished at nine, go back to his place, watch movies. I was staying over that night and then I was going to go back like the morning afterwards. So anyway, um, we get ready to go to judo and he's like, oh, my dad's picking me up so you can meet my dad for the first time. So already my alarm bells are going since the first day that I'm like meeting this kind of guy properly is like a date scenario. I'm also going to meet his dad, which already red flags, major red flags. Also bear in mind that like this time I wasn't out the closet. Like I literally didn't like come out of the closet until <laughs> like a good six, seven months after this scenario. So the fact that I was meeting his parent like straight away was like a really awkward scenario. Plus his brother was also going to judo. So in the back of the car, it was me and him front seat, his brother, and then like in front of me, like driving seat, his dad, we're all going to judo together. So already just think of the awkward scenario that is occurring already since the guy, we'll just call him N, since I don't want to like dox his name. N was like, oh yeah, look, this is, this is Jack. He's just a friend. We're just like meeting each other up. And I said, I'll show him like part of what I do, which is judo and his family like ran it and like taught it. So yeah, it was kind of like an awkward scenario. So anyway, we get to judo and it's like maybe like 40 people, 20 of them are kids, 20 of them are adults. And he's like, oh, the first like 45 minutes, all the kids are doing their practice training. I'm a teacher. And then the like last like 45 minutes is the adults are kind of doing their thing. They're teaching training and he's one of the like instructors. So it pretty much, um, there was like a cafeteria and then like the main like judo mat bits. He's like, I'll oh, just sit in the like cafeteria bit. There's a few other people sit and chat with them. So me already like an anxious mess. Like I don't really know anyone. I wouldn't say I'm particularly great at meeting new people. We just sat in this like little cafeteria being like, hi, how do you know N? Yeah, I've just met him like a week and a half ago. And then he said, come meet me and we'll go to judo. But he's literally just left me in a room full of strangers that I don't know of which obviously they all knew him and have known him since he was a kid. They've all done judo together for like 20 years. So anyway, it gets to like the adult kind of side and they're like, oh, why don't you go out and watch him since I was not bothered about watching little kids do judo. Like, no thanks. So anyway, it gets to like the adult thing and he's like, oh, come out and watch. He came for like a drink and was like, cutesy and was like, come out and watch. And I was like, <laughs> okay then, I'll watch you do judo, like a big muscular like man throwing other like men around. Sure, I'll come watch that. So anyway, I'm sat like to the side, they're doing all like the training practices, counting to 10 in Korean or, is it Korean? Korean, I think in judo, isn't it? Anyway, they're like counting and doing all their things. I'm literally just sat at the side like, this is really the first date. This is what you wanted to show me. Like I did, I cooked meals. I provided movies, video games, everything. And you are making me go with your family to judo. So anyway, <laughs> it gets to like them doing all like the throws and all the practice shit and all that stuff. And they did like a little mini game of like, kind of like how judo, if you land on your back and get like pinned or like land on your back, you're out the game, blah, blah, blah. They're going back and forth. It gets to the guy I was seeing, N, and like the main, main older guy, like the one that's the professional, the one that you don't fuck with that teaches everyone else. So anyway, he grabs N, throws him over his shoulder. N doesn't stand up. Everyone else is just like, come on, get up, you little bitch. Like, come on. Jack's there like, come on, get up. And he is just like laid on the floor not making any sound and his best friend Rebecca was like next to me like at the time and she like grabbed my hand and was like go check on him like something's wrong and I was like why the fuck am I I don't even really know him why is his dad and his brother not going to check on him so anyway I like because he was only like two mats like away from me walk across the mats everyone like crowds around and he's just lay there like bawling his eyes out and I was just like 
it's okay I'll be your nurse like what's wrong do you want some water like let me like help you pick up and we'll go like sit on the chairs so anyway he's like down for like a good few minutes everyone's like are you okay they like pull his robe up and like check his like limbs because he kept saying his knee hurts like oh my knee oh my knee so anyway they like check him he like walks to the side fine to like sit with me and we're like oh yeah that was fucking stupid innit you just landed funny on your knee and hurt yourself or like winded yourself blah 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 so anyway judo finishes he's kind of hurt himself but he walked away fine everyone's assuming things are fine so then his dad drives us back to was at his mum's so like his parents were separated and he was staying at his mum's but his dad came to pick him up and that's where we were staying so then his dad dropped him back off with his brother at his mum's where like we were saying I don't know if I explained that at the start but that's the scenario so anyway me and him go up to his bedroom his brother goes the other way and he's like I'll make sure you look after him like kind of like a wink wink nudge nudge scenario so pretty much me and N are laid in the bed and he's like my knee really hurts like really badly so I'm like oh well do you want to like call your dad back we'll I don't know go to A&E and get like an x-ray scan or something and He's like, no, it's fine, we'll watch a movie. So anyway, like two hours go past and we're watching this movie and he goes to stand up and he's like, no, my knee really, really hurts, like badly hurts. I'm like, right, I'm calling your dad. Like, I don't know the guy, but I'm calling him back to come pick you up to then like go to A&E. <clears throat> so anyway, his dad comes and collects us. It's like 12 o'clock midnight at this point so it's late you can tell his dad's like pissed off but he knew that n was hurt so it was kind of like a go on then i'll give you that so anyway he drives us to the like local hospital it's not that far away drops us off at a and e and i'm like supporting n up bear in mind he was like six foot something and i was like five foot eight and way skinnier back then like a twiglet back then so i'm like supporting him lifting him up we go check in at a and e it's like half midnight at this point so we're sat together in A&E, just kind of chatting and trying to like, I'm trying to like make him feel better. Bear in mind his dad dropped us off and then like fucked off because he had work in the morning. So it was pretty much me and the guy for the first date sat in A&E. Literally just a weird scenario. Bear in mind I barely even spoke to him or talked to him before that anyway. And then that night I barely spoke to him. I was actually kind of pissed off at him to be honest with you since he literally threw me into a room of people that I didn't know. And I didn't know he was doing judo. He never told me that was the scenario. He told me he was having a chill moving out and getting a takeaway. So already I was just kind of like, this is the weirdest fucking date I've ever been on. And by far the worst date I've ever been on. But he was really cute and he did make my heart flutter when I saw him. So I was like, oh, go on then. We'll give him a chance. <laughs> so anyway, we're sat in Amy, like four hours go past. And I go back to like the reception desk a couple of times and just be like, hi, is anyone coming to see us? Like just checking in because he says he's in a lot of pain. Can you give us like pain relief, all that kind of stuff? And this was before I worked in surgery. So this is while I was still studying. So I wasn't like a trained anesthesiologist, anything like that. It was all like, plus I specialize in animals, not people. So anyway, like four hours passed, and we get him some pain relief and then it's like another hour from then a doctor comes to collect us and takes him to go get a scan to see what's happened to his leg since he was still moaning like a bitch like he hurt it so anyway it's been like five hours i'm then sat in the waiting room he comes out on a wheelchair and i'm like what the fuck why are you in a wheelchair and he's like i've fractured my kneecap and we're just like oh shit and the doctor or like the nurse that like wheeled him towards me handed me some crutches and was like oh do you have someone that can come pick you up or whatever and like you can look after him here's his pain medication he needs this one like two times a day this he can't walk in it he needs to like move on his crutches if he does try and walk in it all that kind of stuff his knees fractured it's pretty bad he needs to have a cast done in like a couple of weeks or like a thing to try and stop it and like mend it better so I'm just like, what the actual fuck? This is the first date I'm having with this guy. I'm in a city that I didn't know. Like I knew Lincoln pretty well, but this was 20 miles away. And it wasn't 20 miles towards like my parents' direction. It was 20 miles the other way. So I had no idea this like place like works up. So anyway, it gets to like us leaving and he's like, oh, you can call my mum. She should have finished work now so she can come pick us up. So I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake my date has fractured his knee 
And not only did I meet his dad on this first day, I'm now gonna go meet his mum on this first date with a fucking broken, crippled partner, which is just awkward. So anyway, his mum comes to pick us up. So it's like, hi, thanks for waiting with him. You're so sweet, blah, blah, blah. And then N was like, oh, this is Jack. He's coming back to ours and staying with me tonight and going home tomorrow. And I was just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Like, this is the weirdest, most awkward scenario possible. And yeah, we ended up going back to his. I ended up having to play nurse. And then what was funny was, so this happened just after my birthday and it was like April 26th. He was like, oh, do you want to be boyfriends? And I was like, well, I don't really know you. And he started crying. So he was like, oh no, you're not gonna like me because my body's not together. I can't use the same as if I had two usable legs. And it was kind of like a really awkward scenario. So I said, well, why don't you come back to mine? And then like, while I'm at lectures, I can come back and look after you and we can get to know each other better. Me just being a fucking dumbass bitch. I should have just left him or like not gone to judo and like put my foot down and been like, seriously, this is not a good first date. And then, you know, he broke his leg. So I maybe should have done. So anyway, then he ended up coming back to mine, spending like the next week and a half at mine, me looking after him in between like lectures and stuff. And we did end up in a relationship for like the remainder of the year until I found out he cheated on me and it became like a big breakup thing. But um, yeah, that is by far the strangest, weirdest and worst first date I've ever been on. And I don't think anything can top that. Like, <laughs> I can't think of a scenario that would make it more awkward or more bad things could have happened all within like one like 12 hour time window and um yeah that is the story time of the worst first date i've ever had where my date ended up fracturing their knee and we ended up spending like seven hours in a and e because he broke his knee at judo and i also met his mum and his dad and his brother all in that same like first date scenario <sighs> yeah so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what are some of your like horror worst date stories. And don't forget to subscribe to The Girl Next Door with something more. I just thought it'd be like a fun little story to tell since it's on the lead up to Halloween. My Halloween series will start from the 1st of October and I'm planning to do 31 different makeup transformations. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the horror and trauma of my worst first day I've ever had and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Ooh, that was a really powerful tongue pop. I think it does also make it worse that I ended up dating this guy for like the remainder of the year, so like another six months. So it didn't really deter me after all that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>